Hey guys, it's Coach Street. I'm here with my friend Snowy, and today we're going to do some fun exercises, some locomotor skills to warm up, and we're going to do a fun activity that requires underhand throwing. Okay, so we're going to improve our underhand throwing, and then at the end we'll do an easy cool down stretch. Okay, so Snowy and I are going to be part of this game today. So I'm going to set her up right here. She'll be part of the game and I'll explain that in just a minute. Always make sure you have sneakers on, you have comfortable athletic sports clothes to wear before you exercise. And always have a bottle of water okay, nearby if you need to take a break. So, with that being said, let's get started with our warm up. We're going to start with some jogging, and in between the jogging, we're going to do some other exercises in between all the locomotor skills. Here we go. change directions when you move because when you change directions that helps you in sports too you don't always want to go in straight lines you want to change directions skip it step and a half Let's do 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember to breathe when you're doing these exercises in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, let's do some galloping. Change the foot that's in front. Let's try 10 mountain climbers now, okay? Get in a good push-up position to start. Your back is straight, and you're gonna bring your knees up to your chest like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, those are mountain climbers. Let's get into some more locomotor skills with some side steps. So your knees are bent, you step and slide. It's like a defensive stance in basketball. Slide, step. Sidestepping, that's a good one. All right. The last one we're going to do is some lunges. Ready? 10. 1, 2, 3. Good work, everybody. 4, 5, 6. You don't have to go too fast. 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, as you can see, I laid out a jump rope on the ground. That's going to be part of our game. And also, the next time I see you, we're going to do some jump roping. Some introductory jump roping. And this is going to help lead into that. So what I want you to do, if you don't have a rope, you can draw a line if you're outside, or you can put down a piece of string. You're going to get your feet together, and I'm going to do jumping back and forth over the line. Just like this, 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I'm also gonna go sideways, ski jumping over the, the rope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
you can get on one foot to hop over and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now let's try to hop side to side, up one way and back the other. Just like this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I did four up, or five up, and then five back. All right, that's our warm up. This leads into our game. But before we start the game, let's breathe three times. That's one. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time. Good. That helps you calm and settle down. You may, may want a sip of water. Just a little sip, not too much. All right, now for our activity, we're gonna practice our underhand tossing. You will need for equipment, if you have something like this, an orange will work, a softball, rolled up balls, socks, tennis ball, Okay, you're going to need that to underhand toss and the object of the game and we're going to use the timer today and you're going to see how fast you can knock down those cups, knock down Snowy over there, and hit that target three times at the very end. Then we'll stop time and we'll do one more round to see if we improved our time. Okay, remember when you do underhand tossing and throwing Okay, you need to step with the opposite foot, bring the ball back behind you, and then bring it forward like a tick-tock motion. Just like that, and you will release the ball, or in this case the orange, out in front of you. So it's tick-tock. For the game, we can roll the ball on the ground, or we can throw it in the air. You can do both. For when you have to hit that target, Obviously, you have to throw it in the air to hit that X over there. And we're trying to hit it three times. Okay, when you run out of equipment to throw, you run out and get it as fast as you can, and you run back to the starting point, and you try to knock down the rest. So why don't we just get going with the game right now, okay? I have my equipment right here. I set it down right next to me. Let's start the clock and go. Underhand toss. Ooh, I got two. Oh, look at that. Flip it over. There we go. I got two on that one. Okay, let's hustle. target three times. Uh-oh. 
one more. Two minutes and 13 seconds. All right. I'm going to try to do it one more time. I'm going to reset it. You guys take this opportunity to reset. We're going to go get our equipment and we're going to start the final round. Let's go. Let's go for our final round now. Underhand toss. Oh, we'll have to start the timer. And go. Improve the time at one minute and 33 seconds. All right, guys, great work. So that is our underhand throwing challenge today. Let's finish with three deep breaths again. Ready? This time, go all the way down. Stretch a little. Bring it back up. Exhale, down. Stretch out your legs. One more up and all the way down. You guys were awesome. I can't wait to see you guys next time where we're gonna get into some jump roping and overhand throwing. Great work today, guys. I'll see you next time.